Welcome back to another video, buddy. I am Coleman, and thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of our Let's Play series. It's Gemin. It is day 894 in our world, and we have made massive progress. You see that little tail to the right of the screen? We'll look at that in a second. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this series. We record the series every single day. We've been doing Minecraft for 550, almost 600 days straight. We're almost at our two-year mark in a couple months, and I just want to say thank you. I want to take the time out of our day, and of my day, our day, my, that's my multiple personalities, that's what that is, out of, out of my day to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The series is all about the positivity, the good vibes, the inspiration, the motivation, and I get to use Minecraft as a platform to do that. So I just want to say I appreciate you. All the freaking comments are insane. They're so positive. We read every single one of them, so we're going to read every single one of them while we build this dolphin enclosure. But I'm serious. Y'all make me, y'all make my day so much better. You make my daughter's day so much better. You make David, David's day so much better. You make everybody's day so much better with these comments. So I just want to say I appreciate you. And let's take a look at last episode's, or yesterday's video. So the goal with yesterday's video, when we made the dolphin enclosure, is to kind of spice up the world. As you can see, it's a lot of the same colors, and we're starting to plop in some, it's a lot of the same wood and, and sand, so we're, now we're starting to plop in some colors. I added the green trees in the middle to add a little something to it. We have the green crops, we have the wool farm, the red, and now if we fly this way, you could see, bye bye <laughs> Yo, the video's, the video's actually almost at 50 likes, and I, I, I am so scared for y'all to actually see what this dad gun pixel art is supposed to look like. I think it's cute. The more I look at it, I'm like, alright, that's pretty cute. We could deal with that. Like, that's, that's pretty freaking cute. So, what we're gonna do today is, I think we have a good amount of glass. So let's see. I think we have a good amount of glass. I say that, and we're not gonna have any. Let's see. Oh! definitely not a lot at all it's not it's not a good amount i lied to you we're going to try to at least outline this enclosure to make it i guess blocked in i don't know i'm trying to trap some dolphins i don't know of a nice way to put it i'm just trying to i'm just trying to make dolphin prisoners and that's what we're going to do today it is oh dude, it's so fun i don't let's do this is this this should be pretty lined up with the with the path right let's see I mean, yeah, it'll do. Here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and just take a little straight line. We'll bring this over here. Let's take a straight line and make a straight line all the way there while we read comments. So that way it kind of lines up with the path. And then we can roll with it. So we should have a good amount of... Yeah, we do. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's read some comments. I I'm like slightly OCD. And I almost lined this up perfectly. So I want to make sure I get it right this time. Um, but comments, comments, comments. Connie, did the wacky inflatable, inflatable hands? I swear, Connie, one day that's going to go on a shirt. It's going to be magic. I'm going to be like, why is that on a shirt? It's just, you, you had to be, you, you know, you had to be there. Um, she said, oh, hi, Remy. Yeah, Remy loves Connie. I don't know if it's the name Connie, but she loves Connie. Like, she's like, hey, is Connie, is Connie going to be there today? So, my daughter doesn't understand that I'm talking to myself. Like, I don't think she quite grasped that yet. And so I'm literally talking to myself, but she's like, are your friends on today? Your friends on? So she thinks I'm physically talking to Connie right now. She thinks Connie's in the discord call with me. Just, just vibing out. So Connie, she loves you. She's like, is Connie on today? Is Connie in? Are you talking to Connie today? And she loves you, Connie. So I appreciate all the vibes. Uh, the, just, being super nice, so I appreciate you. Uh, Connie said, in, in real life, made me laugh out loud. I'm at work right now. Yeah. Yeah, I get lost sometimes in the video games, you know? It's okay. It's okay. Here's what I want to do. Let's go ahead. Let's do the little circle generator again. And let's make... Let's see if we can make... Um, just a little something. Some, oh, I definitely don't want to... Let's do a... Th Mm, should we do 32 by 32? I think 32 by 32 will be a good size. So we need to go uh, four this way. Two, three, four. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to make a little circle. Um, oh, wait, I goofed. Hang on. Hang on. So it's a total of eight. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be slightly off. Oh, should we make it odd then? Let's do 31. Yeah, we'll do 31. So then now it's only three this way. 
Yeah. OCD, I'm telling you. And then it should be three this way. All right. Beautiful. But um, let's pull this. This is the circle generator I'm looking at, by the way. This is how I do all my circles. You just it's just type in circle generator, and then it pops up and it shows you how you know how big you want the circle. So that's what I do to to make my circles. Because your boy ain't ain't that good mathematically, you know, mathematically. So let me just get a little bit of circle done. So uh, I'll do four, and then this will be a little three piece, and this will be. One, two, three, four, twos. One, two, three, four. And then, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it the other way. But uh, Connie, yeah, uh, Connie said breakfast taco, not burrito. That's what I meant. All right, Connie. God dang it, dude. I meant breakfast tacos, dude. That's my favorite tacos ever. You give me a little chorizo egg and cheese breakfast taco. Let me show you what, oh, just let me show you what the tacos are. Chorizo, egg, and cheese. Come on now, don't put some respect on me. Hang on, we gotta, I'll show you. Oh my God. Come on now. Now put breakfast, what if we just put a little breakfast right here? Come on now. I don't need them to look like this. I do not want them to look like this. Listen, that, that, if your tacos look like this, they ain't good. You need them to look like this. You need this. If the taco doesn't come in an aluminum foil, where you open the aluminum foil and then the grease strips out, you don't want them. You don't want these too pretty. You want just a, just a, you know? You, you just want it to look like it's almost not appetizing. Like, you just want to, like, hey, can we do this? Food, truck, can we type this in? It ain't going to show it. But you want them to look just just not healthy. You know what I'm saying? You want them to just be like, oh, I shouldn't eat this for my for my artery's sake. And you still slam that thing. That's what I meant, Connie. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Did I do the same thing on that side? No, I think I goofed. Did it? One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. Three, one, two, three, and I need five right here. There we go. And then we flip it. So now we need two here. Yeah, and then this is a four. Two, three, four. And then this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we just replicate the same thing. So this is a four. And then this is a little, you're not going to hurt me for doing that. I'm sorry. It's a little three piece. And then it's five twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then it's a one, two, and then it's a four, I think. And then it's a seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I got this down. I got this down. We can, we can, we can do this. Okay. Uh, Connie said I did the count from Sesame Street to count your yawn. Do you have many ah uh, ah uh, ah? Uh, pterodactyls were flying reptiles, not dinosaurs. I'm not a fibber. <laughs> I have to look at her her thing. How to spell pterodactyls? No. Wait, Connie's right. Pterodactyls lived among dinosaurs, but became extinct at the same time. But they were not dinosaurs. Rather, pterosaurs were flying reptiles. Modern birds didn't descend from pterosaurs. Birds and this were small feathered. My life's a lie. My life's a lie. You're right, Connie. I'll say it, Connie. You're right. My life's a lie. Ladies and gentlemen, in the, in the comments, the only comment I care about is, did you know if Donna... Listen, don't do this. Don't BS me because you just saw it. Don't do this. Did you think a pterodactyl was a dinosaur? I would have put my marriage on it. I would have put my house on it. I would have bet Connie my entire house. 
that a pterodactyl was a dinosaur in my life is a lie. That's the only comment I care about. Listen, you're not going to make me feel crazy. Don't BS me. Be honest. Be honest. I swear to God, my science teacher said they were dinosaurs. Four, three, and then five twos. That's how many twos is that? Three, four. I really feel like a failure. I really feel like I like two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not lining up for some reason. Oh, it's because it's this. Hang on. Uh, four. Holy cow, it lines up. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I mean, of course it does, dog. What are you talking about, homie? <laughs> My bad. Um. Wow, Connie, you just it's ruined my day. The village, Connie, I said the villagers aren't frozen; they're hostages. Listen, we don't need to use those words around my daughter, okay? Hostage, I would say helpers. All right, I would say like assistance. You know, you know what I'm saying, Connie? I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say prisoners, you know, it's kind of a crazy word to use or hostages. I, I would just say helpers, you know, that's, you know, then we'll move on. We'll move on. If, if Remy asks, they're helping. All right. They're helpers. I'm just going to say it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, the baby chickens are dead and Coleman has chicken, chicken wing legs. Just saying. Listen, we're not doing this. The, the goal is to torch David. All right. David Peaky or Tally 004. That's that's it. There's no goal to torch me. There's no, we're not we're not starting new quests, you know. We're not in Zelda. You know, we're not we're, we're not starting new quests. We're just trying to finish the ones we're on. All right. You can't you can't Yeah, we're just going to That's the goal. You roast David, you roast Tally, you call it a night. You know what I'm saying? We go we we all go to sleep happy. Except for maybe them. But we all go to sleep happy. Alright? Jeez, wait, dude. I'm over here getting roasted for no reason, dude. I got great legs. Actually, I got crazy good legs, okay? I'll admit it. I got model legs. Thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, my boys are gonna watch this and be like, that is the craziest thing you've ever said in your life. Okay. It's okay. Uh, Freck said, Grandpa Coleman's still gonna have the Minecraft grind 30 years from now. Dude, of course. If I'm not playing Minecraft while sitting in my little like automatic recliner that you know stands up for you on my my TV, my flat screen TV that is irrelevant now because we have holograms, I haven't done it right. Where they're like, "Wow, Grandpa, you're so old. You're using a, you know, you're using your uh, your 80 inch." Ultra HD TV, you're so old. Here's my new plaza, or here's my new virtual reality. Uh, all you gotta do is click this button, and then it, it becomes real life. Like, if I'm not playing Minecraft on my PC, I have failed. I have failed as a grandpa, I failed as a father, I failed as a human being. So, you're right. Uh, Freck said, No way, carbon dioxide leaks are really, are really, really horrid. Thank God for the arm. No, it's, it's actually kind of crazy because it's such an, it's an odorless and invisible gas. So it's kind of, it's kind of insane. Like, like literally, it's like one of the most dangerous things in the entire planet. It's like what, it's like what kills the most amount of people in their house is like carbon monoxide or gas leaks. Cause you don't know, you're not, you're not, you know, you're not, you know, that's not what you're thinking about. Like you're not thinking about a gas leak when you're in, when you're, where did that place? When you're chilling in your house, you know? It's kind of insane. Um, hang on, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Freck. Oh, say love, love to Nala. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, it's all right. She was the greatest dog ever. Like Pitbull. Hang on, can I find a picture of Nala? Let me see. I think I could find one. I'm gonna it probably dox our Facebook, but it's okay. Let me see. I'll dox my wife's Facebook. How about that? I'm pretty sure she posted on Facebook. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a picture with, with... <laughs> Oh, dude, it's Nala. Oh, 
How do I not dox our Facebook? Uh, it's not gonna work, whatever. Oh, I could do it. Y'all, I don't know if y'all could see that, we'll see. That's Nala right there. Oh. That's Nala. That's Nala, holy cow, that kinda makes me emotional. Holy cow, okay. Ugh. Yeah, Nala was the greatest dog ever. Just pure bundle of joy. Um, the perfect dog. Listened all the time. Like the one thing though, she stunk, dude. She stunk. Like we would bathe her every week, and she would just still smell so bad. Like so bad. And it's kind of one of my biggest regrets. We didn't let her sleep in our bed because she smelled so bad. So freaking bad. But yeah, well, um, yeah. Thank you, Frack. I appreciate that. Um. My granddad also restored the. <clears throat> Hang on, let me finish this. There we go. Um. Uh, he said my granddad also restores old cars. We are pretty sure he's he once also fixed a famous English football soccer player's car. His name was Bobby Moore. He was part of the squad that went. Okay, calm down, big guy. Calm down, big guy. Um. Hey, let me just light this up. Um, he was part of a squad that won England in 1966. That would be incredible. If you have a photo of that car, Freck, post it in the Discord. Post it in the Discord, please. I want to see that. That'd be a freaking sweet car. We have to show Remy Garfield. Yeah, dude, I failed as a father. I need to put that. Actually, I'm going to probably go in there and put it on for her, like, right after this. I feel like I have to as a human being. As a father, I failed. I have to. All right. I feel like I have to. Um, Frank said, the comment about your parenthood and whatnot was so, so amazing. Your philosophy is something I agree with, too. Meeting early on and being able to click instantly with the best person is such a lovely thing. Also, having a family with no breakups is so precious. Making others' lives easier is something that builds trust and makes your bond stronger. Yeah, dude. It's just it's just what I live by. It, like People always ask, like, yo, how long, you know, you and Katie have been together 11 years married? <sighs> God, I'm gonna get. She's gonna divorce me. Six, seven? Six or seven? Yeah, six, seven. We'll see. We'll see. She'll let me know if she watches this video. Um, all it is is, dude, just make someone's life easier. No one wants to come home to someone that is like, you, you don't want to regret coming home. That's the biggest thing. The goal is just to not, that is for that person not to regret coming home. They, they should want to come home. Like, I want to come home. I know I'm gonna be embraced by my kids, I know I'm gonna be embraced. By my wife, like, it's just a vibe, you know, it's just a vibe. So that's the, that's the biggest thing that I tell people is you should want to come home. Uh, we can't get rid of those cocoa beans because I need them. I was thought about making a cocoa bean farm today, but I found one that takes 15 seconds to build. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's put, on, let's put it over here. Uh, yeah, thanks, Freck. Uh, get some lightning rods, dude. Your mega base is going to burn down. Hey, I like to live on the edge. I like to live on the edge. I got lightning rods, actually. Fun fact, they're just up here <laughs> and not over here. Maybe that's what we could do. If someone could send me a nice tower design, I, I'm not a fan of this one. If you want to send me like a different color, maybe like a stone tower design or like a dark oak wood tower design, I will put them in all the, the spaces around. Yeah, let's do that. I want it to stand out, like look like an actual lightning rod, so, so hit me up. Hit me up. Yeah, uh, Smokefish said, "Want to? Won't this use up coarse fruit?" Oh, that's an old, old short I made. I'm surprised it's still getting discovered. To be honest with you. Uh, yeah, Smoke. I doubt you're watching this, but uh, no, it doesn't use up the coarse fruit. <laughs> uh, David said it was a very beautiful dolphin. No, listen, it wasn't. It wasn't. David, that's not a dolphin. That's a whale. Dave, that's a whale. And we'll get to some comments. Connie thinks she's funny. She's gonna get banned. Um, but um, oh, Davey, if you're watching, I need you to to add me or something on Discord so I can make you an Iron Member in our Discord so you can stick out on the right side of our Discord. So so hit me up on Discord and I'll add you as an Iron Member because you can see <sighs> you got David. Yeah, David has another right member on the right, and then you got Social Bunny and Ewicken on them on as Diamond members. You need to message me so I can add you as an iron member. Please, please, please. I want to make sure you make sure you stand out. Um, 
Uh, Connie, did the wacky inflatable, inflatable golf clap for David. If your hero is so trash, they vomit on you, they will never remember you. But if you vomit on your hero, it is guaranteed they'll remember you. That's a factual statement. Leave a, I like that, Connie. Leave a, leave a statement. You, you are... Leave a statement. I like that. Connie said, Coleman, you are crazy. Come on, bro. Bring it. Connie, I'll give you the old one, too. You know, I'll give you the old four for four from Wendy's. I swear to God, dude. I'll give you the old the old two-piece chicken leg thigh meal from, from Popeye's. Oh, oh, oh God, Connie. <laughs> I kind of whoop my tail. Uh, what do you need to say that can be converted that can't be conveyed by the poop emoji? What do you need to say that can't be conveyed by the poop emoji? Huh? What do you need to say that you that can't be conveyed? Oh god, I don't know what that even means, Connie. And then she said the baby shark did you listen, that's not even funny, Connie. If I hear it again, dude, I'm gonna give you the old you know You know what I'm saying? I just hit my mic my face on my mic after that. It's not a baby shark, okay? It's a it's a dolphin. Uh David is a koala, yes. W David, yes. Round of applause for David. Amazing having a guest on the Coleman show. I kind of like that. Wait, hold up. David is the only scary monster in his house. He's ruined the closets underneath the bed. Even just the outline of a dolphin looks so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're lying, but thank you. I appreciate it. I love when you know, a lot of me to kind of gas me up, but I know for a fact, like, oh my God, it looks bad. It's okay. Thank you for gassing me up, but my God, I could see it. Uh, I could see it. Let me see. Oh, we need to get a little closer. We'll do like something like this. Maybe it'll stick out, you know? There we go. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's video. It has been a pleasure, as always. Do what makes you happy. Keep keep smiling. And uh yeah, we'll finish the dolphin exhibit next episode next episode. And then we'll do a little bit of motivation next episode. How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, stay beautiful, stay smiling.